this video we're going to be breaking down the Eagles offensive playbook. I do think that this is one of those playbooks that can gain some steam over the course of the year. It has a couple unique things in it as well as some standard really, really effective things. So I'm going to be breaking it down in this video. First and foremost has a nice little ace double wing. You don't see this in a lot of formations. Uh, but this is a really, really good little formation here. You got the stretch, tight end corners, HB dive, and then uh, tight end shake and PA counter waggle. So a lot of good under center plays from that. Uh, really just some decent under center. Like this wing tight here, uh, this wing tight has the jet sweep. You have uh, a duo run, a stretch run, and a dive run. So you kind of have everything that you need under center in terms of the run game. You have everything that you need under center in terms of a quick pass game. So a lot of good plays in this formation under center this is going to be a very valuable red zone formation uh even the deuce close kind of the standard formation you need in the red zone something like a deuce close has eye tight uh, which is also a good red zone formation has 26 duo power o which is really good uh doesn't have a stretch though in that set but all in all this is kind of a good little formation here strong close strong wing uh this strong wing does have a fullback dive in it uh, which is really valuable to have that fullback dive along with a little power o outside type run and then you can come out in the stretch and then some kind of unique stuff from the pistol sets you have uh, the good old u off stack wing flex close with the motion plays so some nice little kind of bubble gum or gimmicky under center stuff that you can do in the red zone to be able to score it has a wildcat formation in it as well uh, with a jet sweep a power and a counter play so some good stuff in this uh, this split slot is really good as well. This is one of those formations this year that is actually really pretty decent. Um, you have a fullback inside. This fullback inside handoff is really, really good. You have a halfback off tackle, fullback inside, so a nice little kind of under center or a two-back run game back there. They have the split flanker close, not too great of a formation. Um, and then you have some of this other stuff that I think is really good. For example, this, this slot right, we didn't talk about this a lot, but these uh, handoff animations are really good from this formation. And so you can get those quick runs. Uh, I, I guess I forgot that you automatically hand the ball off to the running back. But anyway, uh, you have stuff like this. So you have some nice little, uh, I think, good handoff animations that you have in this little formation. This is an old school formation that's actually really good because you have that that tight in the back foot is like a lead blocker. So it's almost like a, it's like a really just underrated run set. You have halfback ISO, you have some RPO game that you can get into. So like if you wanted to put the RPO read flat is always a really good play. If you have that in your playbook, I'd probably put the halfback ISO in here. I think this is a good run. And then from there, you can kind of scheme around it like the QB slot option. There's some kind of cool stuff that you, you don't have really in a lot of other playbooks. Then uh, we also kind of get into some of these other formations here. You have the deuce close with a lot of really good plays. The RPO read flat wheel is a play that you want to have uh, access to. And then you also have, as we go through this, some different types of motions. But the main formation that I want to focus on today is this normal Y off close. Uh, because I think that this would be the bread and butter of this playbook. That being said, I did want to quickly cover that you have Bunch Nasty in here. Uh, you also have Trips Tight End Flex. So what I would do is I would set this motion wide post as an audible, as this is one of the best plays in the game. You have an RPO zone alert out of this. You have good old-fashioned verticals. If you want to use verticals, you could use some of the other plays like post rail, uh, I really like post rail with that flat or with that running back wheel. A lot of good plays in this trips flex. Halfback angle is one of those one of those plays this year. Uh, you want to have that as well because you can kind of create some things on the fly with this that you really can't create in other formations. So we have that. Um, the spread set is is okay. RPO read bubble is really the main thing in this. It's really good. And then some five wide stuff. Not really a five wide guy, but they do have some different five wide stuff that you can look at. Uh, tray open, not something I would really run. Stack wide off with a little jet pass. Just some bubblegum stuff that you can get into, like bunch open tight end. You have some things like you have wide trail, you have RPO bubble flood, um, and then you could do like a dig return here. They have uh, bunch X nasty, which this isn't a great bunch X nasty, but it's okay. Uh, you have you still have spacing switch, you have smash return. 
Uh, the other thing that you have in here is some of the some auto motions here uh, to the running back. And then let's see, mesh halfback sneak, mesh spot. So you have kind of some decent plays uh, out of here. Double outs with a really unique pivot route to that slot receiver. Probably put that in here. And then let's see if we have anything else that's kind of worth taking a look at. Drive corner, mesh spot to me is, is pretty decent. Probably put that in here. Choice shallow dig is okay, right? Not a great bunch X nasty, not as good as it could be, but it is decent. And let's just take a look at this running back speed motion. So here you have a running back cheat motion. One of the things that's really cool is you can stem this up. So this basically turns us into that running back cheat motion streak. I guess he's going to take forever to snap the ball, though. That kind of sucks. Huh. Didn't know that happened. But, but you do have that. You have that cheat motion that you can do uh, with the running back. You don't have that cheat motion from that you have from Lions, but that's okay. Uh, in general, you do have some stuff in here that, that can kind of, I guess, make up for that. And you still have it from trips. So the main plays or the main thing that I wanted to look at with you guys today is this normal wide-off close. So this normal wide-off close has a lot of cheat motions, but the main thing that this formation has that I like, it's this cheat flat X post play. This play is really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw some audibles in here. Uh, we're going to use, you can use uh, this RPO alert cheat bubble. Really like this play as the run play. Um, if you want to mix in that jet touch pass, you can. But what I would do is put some of these plays, like these motion plays to the running back, um, if you want to have something like this, this motion halfback swing, a lot of good underrated stuff here. Fake jet sweep wheel RPO post. Uh, let's take a look at the cheat tight end angle here. RPO cheat bubble. We have Y sale and then we have PA snag. And we're going to really look into this cheat flat post as I think this is probably the best play in the formation. So the reason that I like this offense a lot is because of this this um these sharp cutting post routes so if you take a look here on this outside you see how we have these post routes let's just say that i hot routed a post so let's say i put like a regular hot routed post i'll just put it on tight end look at the difference between the right side guy and the tight end you're going to notice that the sharp cutting post route is a flatter cut and so that's going to do a better job at beating man to man. So what you're going to see here is let's say I'm in this coverage. Another thing is I'm pressing and you can't press the circle receiver for some reason. But anyways, we'll just go through here and take a look at these post routes. So I'm going to obviously go around this. But I just want you to see, look at that sharp cutting post route. And that's Deion Sanders with universal coverage. The sharp cutting post route just kills man coverage. So what I like to do with this is something very simple. You can literally just you can literally just run like a basic high low. This flat route is also really good if they're not playing underneath coverage. You just have um, kind of a simple simple offense here. But what I would just do is a simple slant uh, or a simple uh, flat route to the back, a slant route over the middle of the field, and then a streak on the outside. So it looks something like this, and this would just be a basic concept that I would use out of this. And you have this flat, and this is always your first read, this cheat flat. So real nice, quick hitting flat route. They're going to have to base align, have outside alignment. It's not an easy route necessarily to stop. And then, then once they are able to take that away, you'll see here this is a hard flat. Kind of takes that away, but now look at how open the sharp post is. right? The zones just clear out really nicely. That sharp post gets wide open against a lot of what people would want to do uh, defensively. Now, if we wanted to, if we're playing someone and they're running a lot of man-to-man, -man, another thing that you can do here is you'll be able to hit this return route over the middle of the field. So, you know, again, let's just say they're running some man coverage. You can leave this return route on the field, and you'll see that this is a really nice uh, little man beater here. It doesn't quite cook over the middle, but then as you see, uh, Jay Chase does. He just gets a KO. But you have... Um, you have a lot of good stuff in this. Another thing that I like to do is, again, if you kind of look at this, you can you can um, put a slant route here too. So if your return route's not really cooking man like you want, typically the slant route will. So you see here, here's just a basic slant, able to get over the middle, and able to beat man coverage. So 
there's just so much you can do with this specific play. Another thing that you can do here would be a combination like this. And if you look on this left side, you also have a pretty nice little post route. This post route, as you see, it's not as sharp. It's not as flat as the other one. And so that's just something you're going to have to, like, I guess, be mindful of. It's still a good post route, but it's, it's really more like if I hot route the post route, you see it doesn't look very much different, right? So it's not like the special post route. But the way that you get that is you can go to this play PA snag. And this play PA snag, as you can see here, this has that sharp hitting post. So now I'm able to do things like, you know, I could just uh, bring this guy across, maybe run double drags, something like this. This is a very simple play, but it's really effective. I really like the double drags this year. Look at that sharp cutting post. Just get into that real nice soft spot of the defense. It's just hard to beat. Another real simple setup out of this that I think a lot of people should be, more people should use is something like this, right? Uh, you could motion the running back out of this too as well. So if you wanted to, you could motion the running back out. Have a little high-low on the right side, but then on the back side, you have that nice sharp cutting post. And you just see how good that is. You don't need a clear out route. You, that route just literally just gets open. Uh, it's just very difficult to to guard that. Another play that you have, and this is how I like to run the defense or the offense, is if you run this with your tight end to the short side, let's say you get a cover two look. This Y sail play, it has a glitchy fade. So this fade normally will cook cover two. I think I got to wait a little longer on it to show you. But this glitchy short little fade here is really good against cover two. So like Y sail, just streak the tight end. I'd probably drag this backside player and we'll just go. But really what we're looking for, once that safety kind of turns his hips inside, you see that we can throw this over the top to the right and we're able to hit this over the top of the cover two. So now what we also have in this offense is we have those seam streak threats, right? We can hit the seams on both sides of the field uh, with this play Y sail. Another way that we can run this play is we could uh, do like double seam streaks. We don't go in and do something like this. This is perfectly fine if you want to block a guy here, right? But look at that. What that does typically against cover two is you're going to hit that nice deep fade against that against that coverage. So another thing is, of course, you can always just run wide sail like normal. Uh, I'd probably send the tight end corner down one tick like so, and I'd probably have a backside drag, and basically we just ball like this, and you'll see that that tight end corner. That's crazy that I got shed that bad. But you'll see that this tight end corner is going to have to be switch stick too. Let me see here. See how clean of a clear out that is? Super nice flood play. So we have that to attack that right side. Um, another thing that we have in here is this cheat tight end angle play. Uh, this, this cheat tight end angle play is um, kind of interesting. But if you just watch how this tight end angle runs, You'll see it's like a quick shake route over the middle of the field. This is going to be pretty decent against man-to-man. -man. So again, these, you know, kind of staying true to form here, but the cheat motions give man-to-man -man a lot of issues. You'll see that here. So you see here, watch that little shake over the middle. Look at that man coverage just get roasted. Linebacker doesn't have a chance. That's wide open over the middle. Easy read. And so you can kind of scheme around that cheat angle. So like one thing I might do would be like a streak come back and then maybe I'd take on this right side. We could either post this guy, we could do a corner and a high low read like this, you know, however you want to however you want to kind of put this together, but in general, having this little cheat route over the middle just kind of gets in a soft spot. It's got to be usered. And so because they have to user it, this is the important piece, because they have to user it on this cheat tight and angle play. Now we just put some routes around it that we like. So it could just be something as simple as this, really. And if you take a look here to the right side, we're being able to attack kind of this throw right here against most zone coverages, right? So a lot of things we can do within this. Um, another play that I like is if we can we can take this return route, stem him down too. But another thing that I like to do out of this is just a table route to the running back, we'll streak the outside guy and run the play like this. And this just spaces the field out really, really well. Again, look at this flat route quick. If that's there, you want to take advantage of that. Um, that can also, let me just show you real quick. That can also give man to man some trouble. So, I'll show you. If the tight end route, watch this tight end quick, just quick throw, boom, gets man coverage. It's just hard for man coverage to play cheap motion. 
this year, and so you have that always within this play. Another thing that you have in this cheap motion is you have this RPO cheap bubble, which you can stem this out route all the way up or all the way down. And basically what we're looking for here is this bubble. Uh, this bubble is really the main thing we want to hit. And then what can happen is, let's say, for example, they're getting a little aggressive and, you know, maybe they're blitzing a lot and they're, you know, playing, some, playing you up in press man to man. You can always, always, always uh, peek this out route and occasionally, and of course right there it wasn't open, uh, but occasionally it will be open. So it, depend, it depends a little bit on just what they do defensively. It's it's just situational, right? But you do, you, you want to look at it at least for a second. If it's open, you want to throw it, but obviously you're just looking up the field, right? Is that open? You can try to throw that. A lot of the time you're just reading linebackers. Um, it's really more something for like a heavy set. It's also more something for the red zone. Uh, but this isn't a terrible run either, so if you just want to hand this off, you can just hand this off like this. If they're in more of like a basic defense, like what I'm doing right here defensively, just more just trying to give you like basic coverage beaters, one of the things that you can do is you can stem this out route all the way down. And we're just going to look through this out route quick. And you're going to see here, it's just like a flat route, real quick hitter, able to just attack the defense that way as well. And then, again, going back to PA snag, I think, you know, PA blocking is really good this year. So we could do something, I mean, you could do something like this. This is like a super underrated setup out of this. And the reason that this is really good is because now, you know, you're forcing them to have to do a couple different things uh, defensively. And you could have, you know, a fairly basic slant. I mean, you could slant the tight end too, but you have this, a very basic slant post combo. And the slant post combos are so good this year. Like, they're better than they've they're they're pretty much on par with where they've been over the last several years because of switch stick. It's a it's not like necessarily better, but it's it's really good because it's hard to use or both of them. It's hard to it's hard to switch stick these. One of the big things I wanted to get across is it's really hard to switch stick the short post routes, which is why I like them so much. It's just hard to sw for the defense to switch stick it, and so because it's so hard to switch stick it then you're able to you know, kind of build around, around this because you see how long developing this could be and how they can run themselves open against almost any defense. So that's another thing is you have these uh, nice short posts. Some other plays in here. Uh, we'll take a look at this cheat slot fade. and Let's just set a couple different audibles. We'll take a look at the tight end screen. We, have, we haven't really looked super closely at Y sale yet. And then some of the some of the running back plays, uh, the motion uh, wheel. We'll take a look at that. You have the motion swing as well. Uh, this is just something like a mix and play. So what's nice about this motion swing is um, they're just not going to be expecting it. So you can just throw this out here quick. And again, there's just a lot they have to worry about on that left side. Then the other thing you have here is this cheap tight end screen. This one. Um, you can't really make any hot routes, but every now and then, this is like a once a game play call. You'll see here, here, the sit, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good blocking out of that cheap tight end screen, especially against like any kind of base zone coverage. And then we'll take a look at some of the other plays here. But you just have some nice little thing, little stuff in here. We'll take a look at cheat slot fade. We'll take a look at motion angle wheel. I mean, I think that's. Motion switch corner, nothing really crazy on that. Let's see if there's any other routes I really wanted to look at. RPO read counter bash, that looks crazy. Fake, fake jet wheel, we'll take a look at that. So you have obviously a jet touch pass too to the right side. This formation just attacks the defense really, really well. Um, let's see if we can hot route out of this. We cannot hot route out of this, but the beauty of this is it's actually got a good route. It has a short post on this outside guy and a clear out wheel. So you're, you know, it's not a terrible combo necessarily. Uh, you also have this cheat slot fade. So the beauty of this cheat slot fade is kind of what I was saying before. You can stem the tight end all the way upfield. So you see how that looks. It basically turns us into almost like a, a quick streak. You see there. And now, you know, you can kind of build around that. But the reason that that's really good is let's say they're playing you in man-to-man. -man. We're just going to, um, whoops. I accidentally called the wrong play, which is fine. Look at this wheel route on the right side. Just cook man. That's kind of cool. 
And then also, if we come back to this, let's take a look at the slot fade. And you'll see I'm going to stem this guy all the way upfield. And if they don't have safety help, look at this speed burst. Look at this. this is a super smooth, cheap motion. One of these fades will get open, typically. So you have kind of some ways in which you could beat man coverage from your core alignment, which is really nice. Let's just do a little quick throw to the right. Another uh, play that we haven't gone over yet is this motion wheel, uh, motion angle wheel. So this has some really cool routes in it. And we'll just take a look at this running back route specifically. It's just a Texas route, but it's a nice little route uh, off of auto motion that you could use. And then it has other things. So like if you, you see, I have this tight end, tight end route. So we can just streak the running back here and we can just, I mean, we can literally just run the play like this. This is perfectly fine. And now you kind of have like that Durham or dagger concept, uh, just in terms of how that's going to work within the seams. So you have that going for you. I mean, there's just a lot of this, a lot of stuff in this that I think is really good. Like one of the underrated things about this, this uh, slot fade, you can use this as a speed out. So, like what I would probably do is something like this, honestly. And I have, so I have a seam strict to my tight end quick. I have the slot fade if it's covered too, and then I'll go over that in a minute. But then I also have this kind of speed out late in the play. And of course the, the curl flat zone beat it. But if they're running curl flats, you should be running your, um, you should be running your cheap flat motions and just taking those flat routes. But another thing that's underrated about this if we audible to trips out of this formation, you're going to see here that this is basically perfectly aligned for trips. So all you have to do is make one adjustment and bada bing, bada boom. And now you're in your trips tight end stuff. So it really merges well with the trips formation. Um, you can situationally, you know, go to bunch nasty as well. Like that play double outs I was talking about. You have bunch nasty in here, you know, so if you wanted to do something like this, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. And this pivot route here is actually pretty crazy. Another thing is when you motion out of this formation, a lot of times it can mess things up for them as well. Uh, the one thing I wanted to go over too is this cheat slot fade. So we had this out route stemmed. Uh, we're gonna stem this tight end pretty much all the way to the end zone. And then you can do whatever you want on the back end of this. But basically if they run cover two here, you're gonna see that this just gives cover two a lot of trouble. As you see, that guy uh, takes his takes his uh, user inside, and we just want to throw this up and to the left. And if that's not, for whatever reason, you know they're able to, to cover that. There's other ways to get this too. Again, there's a here's a way to beat it on this right side with the wheel. But let me show you to the to the left. So let's go cheat slot fame. So if they let's just say the safety is able to cover the. Um, Let's just say the safety is able to cover the fade route, right? Then you can just throw this tight end. You should even need a little bit of time. Of course, the tight end is going to take forever to get up the field. Let's uh, let's put this. I don't know. I guess that doesn't work against cover two like I thought it did. This wheel does for sure. Let's take a look at this short post. Eh, that didn't really work out well. All right. Um, let's see, cover two, how do we beat this cover two? We gotta be able to beat this under the slot fade play. That's like the whole point of it. Let's stem this up. Let's streak this guy on the backside, put the running back underneath. So this is like a super vertical attacking play. Let's see if this can, this has to be able to do something to cover two, I would think. That should be open. Yeah, it's like a tighter throw, but if you, if you really, Pass lead it to the left. You should have something over there on that left side. Another underrated uh, concept, in my opinion, would be out of like motion angle to utilize this um, kind of a double outlook. You have a stock speed out here that I'd stem all the way down. So if you watch how, watch this run on the left, just a quick hitter, and then you have the speed out in behind it as well. The speed out on that side is also really, really good because they have to play cover two. And then if they're playing cover two on that side too much, there's going to be a lot of openings uh, that you're able to have defensively or offensively. And then again, you have wide sale. Wide sale is a very slept on play. Uh, real simple setup here. Just slant the tight end. Or uh, you could run it like this as well. Don't see anything wrong with this setup. 
You can slant the tight end. And you see how this just gives a lot of coverage is really big issues. So this is the normal Y off close. And this is out of the Eagles playbook. Really like this formation right now. There's a lot of things that this formation does really, really well, including uh, basically being able to manipulate a lot of coverages. And then simultaneously, when they start going to more of like your backed off coverage, now you're able to do things like hit your short posts kind of in really soft spots against the defense. It's very difficult to switch stick. So if you guys want a full breakdown on this offense or any of the offenses that I talk about, make sure that you join our school community. I'll put a link to that down in the description below for just 10 bucks. You can get access to all of my offensive and defensive eBooks. Thanks for watching the video and to sign up for school, head down to the description and click the link down below.